Hello, I'm Nastya. You are at the English lesson. What should I cook for dinner tonight? Let's check out some recipes from Yevhen Klopotenko. There are plenty of tasty dishes on his website. Okay, let's see. I feel like cooking something traditional. Mm -hmm. Oh, borscht with pork ribs. Perfect. I haven't eaten borscht for a while. At this lesson, you will read a recipe of a traditional Ukrainian dish, learn vocabulary related to the cooking process, and learn how to write a recipe of a dish. Did you know that Ukrainian borscht was recently added to UNESCO list of cultural heritage in need of protection? Before we talk about its recipe, let's learn words that help describe the process of cooking. Before cooking, most of the vegetables must be peeled. To peel means to take off the skin of a vegetable or fruit. Then you often chop the ingredients, which means to cut them into smaller pieces. Some ingredients are grated. When you grate something, you rub it against a rough or sharp surface in order to break it into small pieces. For example, you grate cheese. The next one is to stir. It means to move a liquid or substance with a spoon in order to mix it together. Another action is to pour. It means to make a liquid or other substance flow out of or into a container. In the end, you may need to sprinkle. To sprinkle means to throw small drops of liquid or small pieces of something onto the dish. We sprinkle something onto something or something with something. For example, to sprinkle cheese onto a pizza or to sprinkle a pizza with cheese. Let's move on to a few examples of typical cooking equipment. A grater is a tool used for grating food. A pot is a container used for cooking which is round, deep and usually made of metal. An oven is equipment where food is cooked, which looks like a metal box with a door on the front. A frying pan is a round, flat pan with a long handle used for frying food. Let's practice these words a little. There are five sentences on the screen with two options. Pause the video, read them and choose the correct option. The correct answers are 1. All the ingredients of the Greek salad must be chopped. 2. For Thanksgiving Day, Americans traditionally cook roast turkey. 3. Can you heat the pot with the soup? 4. I hate peeling potatoes. It takes ages to do it. 5. Grated cheese makes pasta taste much better. Great job! Now that we know the words, we can discuss the recipe. When it comes to borscht, people say that there are as many recipes of borscht as the number of families who cook it. Traditionally, people defined three types. Red borscht, the classic one, green borscht, and the cold one. I'm going to share the recipe of the classic borscht with pork. Read it and compare it with the one eaten in your family. Is it the same or different? Ukrainian borscht with pork. Ingredients. 5 liters of water, 400 to 500 grams of pork or pork ribs, 2 medium beetroots, 2 medium tomatoes, 1 fourth head of cabbage, 3 or 4 potatoes, 1 or 2 carrots, 1 onion, 2 bay leaves, 1 head of garlic, 1 sweet bell pepper, 30 grams unsalted butter or vegetable oil, 2 tablespoons tomato paste, salt to taste. Step 1. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Bake the pork or pork ribs for about 30 minutes or until golden color. Meanwhile, chop the carrots. Step 2. Transfer the baked ribs into a large pot 
add about 3 liters of water. Add carrots and half an unpeeled onion. Bring to a boil and cook over medium heat for about 30 minutes. Step 3. Make the vegetable base. Chop the bell pepper, the tomatoes and the other half of the onion. Step 4. Heat the butter or oil in a frying pan and cook the vegetables until they soften. Add the tomato paste and cook for another 5 to 7 minutes. Step 5. Grate the beetroots. Add it to the vegetables and keep cooking for another 3 to 4 minutes. Step 6. Add the vegetables into the pot with the pork. Add bay leaves. Sprinkle it with salt. Step 7. Wash and peel 3 to 4 potatoes. Step 8. Chop them and add them into the pot. Cut the head of garlic in half and add to the pot. Step 9. Chop or grate the cabbage and add it into the pot. If you like, you can add some canned beans to the borscht at this point. Cook for 5 more minutes and take the borscht off the heat. Step 10. Let it cool. Serve it with sour cream and sprinkle it with some dill. Yum! This is the borscht I prefer the most. How about you? I'm pretty sure you know how to cook the dish. But let's check the order of the actions. There are five steps from the recipe on the screen. Read them and put them in the correct order. Go back to the recipe if you need to. The correct order is 1. Baking pork 2. Preparing the vegetable base 3. Grating beetroots 4. Adding potatoes to the pot with borscht 5. Chopping and adding cabbage. Well done! Have you ever cooked or helped to cook borscht? Is it a difficult recipe? By the way, can you tell me the recipe? How should you organize it? First, state all the ingredients. When you mention them, say how much of each you need. For example, one medium potato, one head of cabbage, also use the cooking measurements. For example, one tablespoon or one teaspoon, 200 grams or 100 milliliters. Next, divide the cooking process into short and clear steps. Use imperative to make them easy to understand. For example, preheat the oven, chop the onions. Do you have a favorite dish that you can cook? Can you share the recipe? Now you can tell a recipe of a dish and know vocabulary to describe the cooking process. Bye!